hello you're welcome to solve for a and b in this system of equation let's label this as equation one and this as equation two then from here let's subtract equation two from one so equation one minus equation two then here on the left hand side we have a square minus b then minus b square minus a now equals to we have 61 minus 61 will be 0 from here. Then, minus a open bracket, and this gives us a square minus b, then minus b square plus a, now equals to 0 from here. And here, let's group squares together. So we have a square minus b square, then plus a minus b when we rearrange now equals to zero from here then from here we have power square which we can write as a plus b into bracket a minus b then plus a minus b let's put this in bracket as well now equals to zero from here then we have a minus b common. We can factor that out as a minus b. Then into bracket here we have a plus b left. Then plus one left here, which is equals to zero on this side. Then here we have two cases. The first one a minus b equals to zero, and the second one here we have a plus b plus 1 equals to 0. If you are enjoying this class, give a thumbs up and click on subscription button for more videos. Now here, we have a equals to b. Then here, when we make a the subject as well, we have a equals to minus b minus 1. Then, let's recall from equation 1 that we have a square minus b equals to 61. Then since a equals to b on this side, let's substitute here as b. Then we have b square minus b. Then take 61 here, we have minus 61. Now equals to 0 from here. Now from here, we can solve for b from the quadratic formula. And here, b will be equals to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square then minus 4 times 1 times minus 61 then over 2 times 1 and when we solve from here we have b to be equals to here become plus 1 then plus or minus square root of, we have 1 plus 244 from here, then over 2, which implies we have b equals to 1 plus or minus root 245 over 2. Then we can rewrite this as b equals to 1 plus or minus root 49 times 5 over 2 and here we can write it as b equals to 1 plus or minus root 49 times root 5 over 2 and here root 49 we have 7 so we have b now equals to 1 plus or minus 7 root 5 over 2 and since on this side we have a to be equals to b therefore a as well will be equals to 1 plus or minus 7 root 5 over 2 so we have the value of a and b in this first aspect then in the second case here where we have 
a minus a equals to minus b minus 1. Also, from equation 1, which is a square minus b equals to 61, then we can replace a as minus b minus 1, then we have minus b minus 1 all square, then minus b equals to 61 from here. And the expansion here gives us b square, then 2 times minus b times minus 1, that will be plus 2b, then minus 1 squared as plus 1, then we have minus b equals to 61. Also from here, 2b minus b, that's b, so we have b square plus b plus 1, then minus 61, when we take 61 here, that equals to 0 from here. And from here, this same thing as b square plus b minus 60 equals to 0 from here. Now, also we can solve this quadratic equation here. And we have b now equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 60 then over 2 times 1. And here, this becomes b equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of. Here we have 1 square is still 1, then plus. Because here minus times minus become plus. Then we have 240 over 2. And here, this implies we have b equals to minus 1 plus or minus root 2. 41 then over 2 from here so here we can also rewrite it as b equals to minus half plus or minus root 241 over 2 when we separate this which implies here that we can get the corresponding value of a here from when we have a on this side equals to minus b minus 1 so using this relation here then we have a will then be equals to minus into bracket this is b here so we have minus half plus or minus root 241 over 2 then minus 1. So that's minus b minus 1. Then here, minus, we open the bracket. Then we have a now equals to, here become half. Then we have minus plus now, root 241 over 2, then minus 1. And here we have half minus 1 here, that's minus half. And here a is now equals to minus half minus plus root 241 over 2. So here we have the corresponding values of a. And here when a is half minus root 241 over 2, b will be minus half plus root 41 over 2. And also the second you know, value when a is minus half plus root 41 over 2, then b also here will be minus half minus root 41 over 2. So, here we have come to the end of this problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Put your comments in the comment section. See you next class and bye for now.